Cheers, legends. Sammy from Short and Stout Beer Reviews. Welcome to another instalment of Macro Monday. Today we've got the uh, the youngest sibling of the great Victoria bidder, VB. So this is VX. And instead of 4.9%, it's 6 And it's only a wee little can or a wee little bottle. I don't know if they've done them in just the standard size, but I think they've always just been in the smaller, like the stubby bottles and these little cans. And, like, you'll get them in, like, a 10-pack or a 4-pack and they're, like, reasonably priced. But, yeah, it's just one of those things, like, I don't mind having them, but just, yeah, it seems pointless to me in this size can because you'll just crush them so quickly. So, yeah, VB, VX, they're, they're part of the Carlton United Breweries chain that's out of um, Melbourne in Victoria, Australia. And, yeah, VB's, like, my favourite macro. I just reviewed that recently, so I thought I'll give the new VX a go. I've got my little stubby glass. It probably won't even fill it up with the can so small. Hope everyone's had a good weekend and all the American guys or even worldwide, if you're into your NFL, if you had a good Super Bowl Sunday. I really wanted the Niners. There we go. It's actually perfect size. I really, really wanted the Niners to win because, yeah, I've been on them all year. But the Chiefs, you just can't write them off. It's too good. Mahomes was unreal. So, yeah, perfect size for this glass. One finger head, like a dark straw colour. Um, it's relatively clean and clear. Plenty of bubbles in it. Yeah, white to me. Oh, I'd say white body. Yeah, let's go with. Cheers, Adam, brother. Good to see you. So, yeah, I've obviously had this one a few times. It only just come out sort of, I think it was like late last year. Just on the nose, you get more sweetness than what you normally do with the standard VB. You still get that, like, bready, grainy quality. But you get, like, it's sort of like a caramel or a honey sweetness you don't normally get in the standard VB. You still get that sort of earthy copper coin character. But, yeah, like, a lot of these macro beers, just with, like, aroma, quite often they're not very strong. Anyway, I'm going in. Perfect weather for a beer today too. It was in the mid-30s, so quite warm. I haven't been sleeping very well since I've been on holidays. I've either been a bit sick or just a bit out of it with coming off like night shift and that. So, yeah, like, when it's hot, it makes it harder. So a couple of beers might actually help. Oh, cool, dude. Yeah, we definitely have to do some sort of VB stream as well. That'd be cool. It's just a shame you can't get it in the States. But, yeah, on taste... Yeah, I definitely get like a like a car a touch of caramel. It's only like subtle. It's like caramel or like like a sweet honey sort of vibe. Can't sort of put my finger on it, but you don't get that in like your regular VB. Like VB is always like yeah, it's got that sort of 
like bready, grainy quality, but it's very like earthy and bitter. And this is like like a little more subdued with the the bitterness and the the earthiness, but like yeah, you get more of that malt character. And I suppose like that's fair enough because it's, it's a higher ABV, six percent as opposed to four point nine. Nonetheless, though, it still goes down very easy. Like I sort of, I wonder if there's much place for it. Like someone like me respects this, but being a obviously being a normal VB fan, but when you when you're paying a similar price and you're getting a lot less volume, yeah, it's it's hard to justify keep buying it. So you wonder if um. It'll be a product that's ongoing or because, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, every time I've been in a bottle shop and that and you see people walking out with beers, I've never seen anyone buying this. Yeah, it's like opposite for you guys, especially up in the north of the UK. Speaking of people in cold weather, how you going, Shane? <laughs> oh, also, Shane, I loved your uh, recent video with Paul from PA. That was cool, dude. So, yeah, he's like, he's, say he's a good mate of mine. I haven't known him for too long, but I got to know him through the UK boys, like Adam here, for example. And Craig, like they, they've all been friends for a long time. So there's actually talk of us like possibly going to the UK together. So like if I go over there, Paul might try and go at the same time because yeah, it'd be pretty rowdy, I think. Yeah, for sure. If you come over here, dude, I'll make sure you get some VBs and get you some craft beers and. Show you around some of the sites of Melbourne. Be good to catch up with. Um, oh, I keep forgetting his name, the other Aussie bloke that's based in Creswick. But yeah, it's like, it's just too small. You just smash through it so easy. Look, it's refreshing. It's hits the spot. Perfect barbecue beer, but just yeah, I reckon they need to just put it in the same size vessels as the rest. It just seems like it's going to be one of those gimmicky things that's not going to last long. But as far as like comparison goes, like yeah, normal VB, I like that earthiness and the bitterness. But, yeah, when it comes to this one, I like how it's got more of that malt character and it's like a little bit of that sort of sweet caramel or whatever it is. And so, yeah, it's like I don't actually prefer one to the other. I actually like them both like pretty evenly. But, yeah, perfect glass for it. <laughs> See, so, yeah, I've got two more days of holidays and then, unfortunately, back to work. I was going to go to a Super Bowl party today in Melbourne, but the public transport here is just an absolute nightmare at the moment. And due to construction that was meant to be completed years ago, and it's just been going on and on. And anyway, if you want to go, like, say for me to go to Melbourne, it might take, like, two hours or whatever normally, but at the moment you get on a bus and you're on the bus for like fucking three or more hours and if you go down there and back in a day, it's like a long time to be stuck on public transport. So it's just like it's too much hassle. Like obviously you can drive, but then you can't drink. It's not the same. So, yeah, I just cracked the shits and just stayed home and watched it this year.
So, yeah, I, I can't remember what I scored VB out of five. I think it was like 3.75 or something like that. Like, I'd give this the same score. It's definitely worth a try. I just, yeah, like, I'd probably suggest, because I know they've got it in the little bottles as well. I reckon the little bottles, they're just, they hold their temperature a bit better and, I think you'd be best if you want to try it, just get a four pack of the little stubby bottles. It'd be good to do a side by side, like the two together. I have done that like off air, but not not online. And it's got the uh, motto on there. This is like the Victoria bitter motto for a hard earned thirst. We need a big cold beer, and the best cold beer is Vic. <laughs> Mad Dan, actually, uh, actually, that's, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. I keep forgetting his name. Yeah. See, a lot of those Manchester videos were really good. They were sort of, I think you've had your own channel just dedicated to the Man. It was at Manchester Piss Up or something. That was cool. <laughs> it's like tiny as far as millage goes it's what is it 250 mils six percent i mean like i reckon i could have 10 of these and i'd only just feel tipsy <laughs> Rasco and Disco. Not sure which one of you it is. I'm assuming Disco. <laughs> I wish my hands were that massive. <laughs> anyway, howdy to you. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, see, it would have been good, like, now I'm looking at it, I'm like, I'm empty. It's like I need a little bit more. It's like I should have had another, like, maybe two cans sitting there ready to go. I've got a backyard shed, and it's like a voyage just to go out there to get more beer. So <laughs> I'm not going to do it during a live review. <laughs> but anyway, guys, another one in the books. And, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to be having any more tonight or anything, but thanks for chiming in and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.